Good afternoon, Al. Good afternoon to you, sir. Now, uh, here's one... Now, essentially, we need to talk about Rishi's five-point plan that was going to solve the migrant crisis. Don't know if you can remember that far back, but it was two weeks ago, and nothing has happened since. This is very much Rishi's... Uh, style, you know, announce a five-point plan, set up a task force, and then basically go, hey, I've solved the crisis. I don't think you have, actually, Rishi. Now, one of the problems in his five-point plan, Alp, as far as I could make out, was he sort of, you know, boldly told us, uh, stridently, illegal immigrants will not, migrants will not be allowed to stay in Britain. They will be returned from whence they came, etc. Right? So here's the problem, as like you all know more about this, but as I understand it, and I don't like this and I don't support it, but these are the legal facts. If they get onto our beach, they come our beaches, they come across on a dinghy, they land on our beaches, and they go, I hereby claim political asylum, they essentially become legal. They're not illegal anymore. They're not returnable. Am I right? Um, I'm not sure that you are. <laughs> Um, the problem is, yeah, uh, there's been various judgments that suggest that once they come here, if the intention was to declare at the first instance and as soon as possible that they were here for asylum, then that technically makes their asylum application acceptable. But the fact is... It's also true to say that if their intention is to come here illegally, then that too means that they're entering illegally. And the fact also is yeah, but that... Al, 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 are, so, sorry to no, interrupt. Hold on, Kev. Kev, no, no, <laughs> right. wait a minute. Wait all right, all right, all right. Look, look if, they're, if they're jumping in a boat that's unseaworthy from an uh, unauthorised bit of France... That journey is illegal, for goodness sake, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's the whole point. They're paying traffickers to ship them over here. That's illegal. Whichever way you look at it, and despite all the legal niceties that mm -hmm. have been brought to bear, mm -hmm. it's illegal, and they're here illegally, and they should be returned. Well, hitherto, then, Al, I mean, I take your point. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm not supporting the idea that you can just go, I claim political asylum, and we go, OK, you can stay here for 10 years. But that's basically what happens to a lot of them. Uh, in terms of what you said, uh, I've always maintained the same thing. You come across in an illegal vessel, you, you, you've actually uh, uh, completed an illegal voyage. Uh, most of them don't have any documents. They don't have a passport. That's illegal. Uh, so uh, on, the, on, on the basis of all of that, hitherto, why have we not been sending them back? Why have we just said, well, OK, you can stay? What, what you should do is when they arrive, you hold on to them. You detain those who arrive illegally having made the illegal journey and got here illegally you detain them and you establish very quickly if you're going to accept the asylum application if you do then you deal with it quickly and if you decide that they don't qualify then they're removed and returned mm. as migrants who don't qualify mm. that's what's not happening it seems to stop the moment the word asylum is yeah. uttered. It, everything else seems to stop, and that is what's wrong. What we should be doing is saying, OK, you want asylum. Where are you coming from? Why are you claiming it? Why haven't you got your papers? And that in itself, frankly, if they haven't got documents to identify themselves who they are, that in itself should mean that they are refused whatever it is that they're applying for. Okay. That's not happening. Exactly. So that's my question. Why not? I mean, you know, uh, the Prime Minister made his big announcement two weeks ago. Uh, why has nothing happened since then? Nothing. Well, uh, ultimately, it's because the French won't accept them back. And that's the really the, the truth of it. If we could return them all to France, then they would stop coming. And that, I'm afraid, is not about to happen because we're not prepared to face down the French 
and say these people are your responsibility you deal with them that's really what should be happening OK, Alp, uh, great to talk to you as always. Uh, we've got to move on, uh, but we've only got a few seconds left. But your assessment of where we're at with this, your assessment of what Rishi's actually doing to solve this crisis, because the scenes we saw in Liverpool, I would suggest, if this carries on, are going to happen time and time again all over the country. Yeah, I'm afraid it will. And if you, if you remember, Kevin, it was only, what, two years ago when in Glasgow the immigration authorities tried to remove two people with no right to be here and there was a a group of people who suddenly turned up and got them to be freed that too was wrong it's no good acting against the law with one lot being praised for it and another lot who have different concerns being uh, characterized as ultra right or far right that's wrong let's deal with this properly and sensibly and hold on to those who arrive and remove them if they don't qualify the first opportunity. Uh, you should be in charge of this, Alper. Great to talk to you as always. Alp Mehmet there, Chairman of Migration Watch.